and then, out of nowhere, it suddenly appears. Hidden deep in the ocean's grasses, this amazing creature resembles the environment that surrounds it. This is the story of the leafy sea dragon. The leafy sea dragon promises to be everything that its name suggests. Its appearance resembling that of medieval dragons and ancient sea monsters. But medieval and monstrous this sea creature is not. The leafy sea dragon is indeed a fish and perhaps the most delicate and fragile sea creature ever to survive in a world of many fierce predators. When you look at this marvellous creature, it doesn't take long to realise how they continue to survive in such a hostile environment. Stunning in appearance, the existence of the leafy sea dragon relies completely on its ability to mimic a piece of seaweed. Its leaf-like appendages placed on the head and body aids in this quest and the dragon is camouflaged in the ocean's grasses. The leafy sea dragons are very extraordinary in the way that they have um, their camouflage. There's no other real creature that can match the level of camouflage. Octopuses and, and squid and, and all that sort of thing, cuttlefish, they all have their own form of camouflage by changing colour. These are the only real animals as such that actually look exactly like the, the habitat that they live in. The weed that you see is almost exactly the same colour, shape as they are. And nowhere else in, that I know of can you find so many leafies in such a small area and, uh, and enjoy such a nice dive. Uh, the leafy sea dragons are, are unique to the southern waters of Australia, you know, throughout Western Australia and South Australia, uh, into parts of Victoria. They're just truly unique, they're not found anywhere else in the world. Divers come from all over the world uh, to come and dive here with them. Um, you know, I've had um, people from the UK, Russia, Germany, uh, Austria, America, uh, Norway, yeah, all over um, that come here specifically to Rapid Bay mostly um, because it's the most well-known jetty uh, to dive with the leafies. Carey has dived at this jetty so often that he has become quite a regular acquaintance to the leafy sea dragons that reside here. He has observed one generation after another and is very familiar with this large family of dragon species living under Rapid Bay Jetty. I've been diving rapid now for at least 10 to 12 years and um, under the jetty I've been tracking, uh, I think it's about 30 breeding pairs um, that you consistently see together year after year. And uh, there's probably about 15 or 16 individuals that haven't sort of paired up yet, ranging from you know, one, two inch long juveniles through to fully grown ones. You know, I came across one a little while ago called, I nicknamed Stumpy. Um, he was all trapped up in some fishing line and I managed to, to cut him free, but uh, it was sort of a bit late for his tail. By the time I'd cut him free, um, the back sort of inch and a half, two inches of his tail had been cut off by the line that he was struggling in. Um, so I've sort of nicknamed him Stumpy. You normally see him quite a fair bit um, just off the end of the jetty. Uh, he's been around a long time as well. He'd be probably close to seven, eight years old now as well. And uh, he's got a, a girlfriend called Susan and uh, they sort of uh, seem to be doing quite well. There's two uh, particular leafies underneath the uh, teepees of the jetty uh, here at Rapid Bay, which I've called Joan and Charlie after my grandparents. Um, I've named them after that because um, yeah, they've been together now for at least seven years and uh, you always see them together, always. Yeah, they're the most commonly two seen leafies under this jetty. They're here in the same spot, the same area, yeah, day after day, yeah, night dives, day dives, weekdays, weekends, they're always together. 